Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. In this video, we will learn about the before all and after all setup and trade on lifecycle method. How we can use that one in this main.spec.js file. Now, if you try to see this main.spec.js file, so here we have created the list of all the specs. So just we have created the specs which we need to write it. So these are all in the pending state. First, what we will try to do is, so first we will try to implement this add result to the DOM element. So we will try to implement this spec add result to the DOM element. So what is this one? It, it belongs to the update result method. So let's go to this main.js file and here this update result function. So it is having a logic in a such a way that it is searching for the element which has an idea of result. And if that element is present, it is trying to append the value. So it is trying to add the value into the div, so the result which has been passed as a parameter. So this is the logic in this one. So first what, what we need to do. So first we need to create an element with an ID, with an ID result. So let's try to create it. So here in the main.spec.js. So here let's enable this one. Now here in the function. So first what we need to do here. We need to create an element. So right now in the spec file, we don't have an uh, div element with an uh, ID result, right? So here it is searching for the ID result. So let's try to create an element. So what I will try to do is constant element is equal to document dot create element of div. So I am creating a div element. Now for this div element, what I will try to do, I will try to append, sorry, set attribute ID. What is that idea I want to append? So result. Why? Because it, the update result method, it is trying to search for the element which is having idea of result. So for that reason, I have created element div and I have added the result ID result. Now that's it. Now what I need to do. So we have uh, created a div and we have add a set attribute like this we have added, right? So now we need to append it to the body. So document dot body dot append child. So which one I need to append element. So I have appended this one. So let's try to check this output. So if I try to check this output, if I, if I refresh this one, so right now we, we didn't get any errors. So spec has no expectations, add result to the DOM element it is trying to say. Now if we go to the inspect element, if I open this inspect element, sorry, if I go to the elements and here, if you try to see at the bottom, a new div has been attached to the body with an idea of result. So this is the div what we have created using the JavaScript method. Now what I need to do here for this element, I need to add the value. So for something like element dot inner text. Okay. So for this one, we need to add it. So now we need to add it. So how we can add it. So now we need to add something like element sorry element dot inner text so now what we need to do in the main dot spec dot js so here we have an element with the div and an id and also we have attached it to this one so now i need to call the method update result so this is the method and i will try to give five so now what is this method will do is so it, this method will search for an element with an idea of result so this one we have created at the top itself. We create element div and like this we have created. And again, it is trying to see that if element is there means then it is it is trying to add the value to the inner text. Now let's try to see the output. So if I try to refresh it, so let's close this one. So now if you try to see at the bottom, a five has been appended to this one. A five has been appended to the DOM. So now what we need to do here, we need to try to check the expectation. Expect element dot inner text to be five right that's only right so now we need to check whether that method has been this update result method has been added has been added this five value to the dom or not let's try we need to try to check so this is the expect dot element dot inner text means so element is nothing but the uid with div with id of result and we are trying to check that whether the value is there in that uh, div id or not so now if i try to refresh so now we got the, the spec has been passed, but the problem here, what we are having is this five is we are able to see this file like that only. So, but in our test case, in our test suite file, so we don't want this file to be visible. So here we need to clean up. So here where 
the after all life cycle method will come into picture so now we have created here we have created an element with div and we have appended it to the body and we have called this update result so that this for in this due it will it will update the value to the 5 and we need to check that whether the uh, update result has successfully added to that element or not we need to check it then after completion of this one what we need to do we need to remove that element so we successfully it has been passed now we need to remove that element so what we can do here we can use this after all life cycle hook so when it will try to execute is so in this suit so in this describe suit so whenever this spec has been completed execution is completed this method will execute now here what i will try to do is i will try to take the element so document dot get element by id with result so i will try to search for this result and what i will try to do is document dot body dot remove child okay remove child of element i have removed this one now that's it so in the after all so when this spec has been executed so after the spec execution is completed then this after all method will be executed so that it will clean up all the values now here the cleanup is nothing but we need to remove this dom value so here the dom element has been removed and also the spec has been passed so after successfully checking that whether the dom whether the update result is successfully adding into the dom or not after checking that one so we can use this after all method to clean up this dom so this is how we can use this after all method and now in the same scenario so we can also use the before all method here also so what when we can use this before all method is so here the three methods the three lines what are the three lines we are using we can we can remove this one and we can add it in the before all so here before all the function okay so before the execution of this one so what i can say is before the execution of this method so update result for what we need to do so we need to create an element and all those things we need to create before the execution of this spec so for that reason i have added in this one i have added this uh, logic in the before all so that before execution of this spec so it will create an element and all those things it will append it to the body and now it will try to run this spec try to run the update result of 5 and it will try to check it so now let's try to see the output here if i try to see the output it is telling that element is not defined so why it is telling here the constant element is restricted to there only so what i can do here so i can create let element okay and here i can remove this constant element is equal to and like this that's it finish so this is how so we can if you try to check here see the spec has been successfully passed so this is how we can use the before all and after all method for cleaning up uh, for, for writing the specs so after all will be used for cleaning up this dom elements and all those things and before all will be used to attach any dom elements or anything before running the spec we can use it so like this we can use this before all and after all so before all is a setup life cycle method and is the after all is a tear down life cycle method so hope you understood about this before all and after all and also this writing of this spec file also update result method how to test this update result method also i have explained it to you hope you understood about this one if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel Thank you.